say hi. hi. <laughs> We've just arrived in Falmouth. The drive wasn't that bad. It took what six? It was six Seven. hours. We left at nine. Got here about quarter to four. Look at the sea. Looks purple in the camera. Mm, stunning. We've just been walking around. We went into our little hotel, and now we've just come for a walk. Gonna go look at the town. And yeah. And find a couple of pubs. Yeah. Ready for interview one tomorrow <laughs> at half nine. So. <laughs> oh, look at the puppy. Oh, there's a bit more beach now. Yeah. That is so pretty. Doesn't go on the beach. Oh, look. Two little benches. Yeah, no, that wouldn't. Go. Where would it go? It goes under there. To, go, to do what? There might be another wee platform right there. Go on, you go down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really? It's not underneath, it's that thing you're looking at. Oh, it's onto the benches? Yeah, it's underneath. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dogs are banned from this beach. Is it still wet? No. Nope. Touch it? That's what I did to check if it was still wet. Tell you they don't touch something there. Touch it. <laughs> I, I would never know. Award winning public garden. Look at all this. Why is there palm trees? That's mad. That looks literally like foreign country, them plants. I can imagine here in summer it was really hot as well. Yeah. Do you think it gets that hot? Oh, yeah. Weird how like little actual beach there is. Maybe the tide is in. The tide is in. No. Then we said over there it was out because the seaweed was all the way up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can see there's even seaweed on top of that wall. That's weird. So it is now a lot later. It is quarter past six or twenty past six. Me and my dad have just got back. We've got separate rooms and. Um, We've got dinner booked for eight in this cool place that had like a vegan menu and vegan brownies. So the shower's just on, I need to wash my hair. I will be using the functional beauty stuff. So I'm gonna do that, wash my hair, get ready, read through a few things I need to do for tomorrow. And then we go out go out for dinner and then just come straight back so I can do anything else I need to do. And yeah, so I'll see you after my shower. So I'm just out of the shower. We've just put like my pajamas on quick because it's really cold in here just to dry my hair because I've put my clothes on the radiator so they're warm. This is my first video since but I've got eyelash extensions. This is the worst shot of them because they're wet because they've obviously just come out of the shower. But I got eyelash extensions and I'm absolutely loving them so far so that's fun. I'm not good at doing my parting like with my finger because I have no finger there. But we'll do. I'm going to put some makeup on just a bit because I can't be bothered to come back and have to completely like wash and cleanse my face because getting eyelashes wet is a struggle 
I don't know how to deal with that yet. I'm a little bit cautious because obviously I've never had them before. So, this lighting is so red because of that. I've just got this new foundation and I really love it. It's the number seven Stay Perfect Super Light foundation. They've got the Stay Perfect like normal, which is really nice, but not for me. Something lighter. Right, I can't see a thing in here. You see how the cutfish is it's for such a light foundation? It's a really nice. Sorry about the noise, that's just the fan because I've like, once you turn the light on, the fan turns on as well. So you can't control them separately. <laughs> I'm kind of really obsessed with these eyelash extensions. Tiny, tiny bit of concealer on. And then I'm just going to put bronzer and brows on. Lovely job there. So now I am just going to grab my laptop wherever it is and just what time is it actually yeah just quickly do some stuff in there and then i'll get changed and we can go i think i might do a video on my portfolio so like what i did what i use any tips but obviously all after my interviews and probably after i've got offers so i know it's actually decent to start giving out advice but i find them really i found them interesting to watch there was only like one proper one cool that's what, like really is blue isn't it i don't really have a lot to do right now i'm just gonna export all of my films and read over some things and off we go We've um, come out to try and find somewhere to go and have a drink and Dad's not very impressed. There's no one about. <laughs> it's so dead. I don't think you're gonna find anything. I don't think we need to come out for a walk afterwards. <laughs> so it's the next day, day of the interview. Um, we're just getting ready. I'm ready. I just need to like pack all my case and stuff. It's like half seven in the morning, which is why I'm whispering. Um, yeah, so I've got like this case fully packed. That's my bag of sketchbooks I never touched. I need to put my laptop in there, but it's charging, so I'll do that after breakfast. Put my shoes on and put my little jacket on. And that's me good to go. I was wearing um, a long sleeve under this top like I wore last night. Can't remember if I showed you. It feels really hot in this room. I really don't want to be hot in there. But then just this and like a little denimish jacket. I feel like it's going to be really cold because just I had this, my long sleeve and my yellow coat. But we'll see. I'm thinking if worse comes to worse, I might just um, put my coat on the bed. I don't feel nervous at all. Like I had a bit of a breakdown before we came, but I think that's just because you and Jim kind of stresses me out in the thought of it. But I'm not really nervous for this one because after coming to Falmouth and stuff, I'm not sure it's really where I want to go. Um, so I'm not too fussed. I feel like I know kind of everything that I know. So, like, do you know what I mean? I feel like there's you can't be really with being stressed now because can't change much, can't learn much more. So I'm just going with it. They give you like five questions and if they ask me any of them like, I'm sure I can I have like an answer I can give so I'm not that worried. That's a lie, I had a breakdown because on the website it says we'll ask you questions and you show us what like pictures and work you think like can answer it kind of thing. And that just made me annoyed because I just wanted them to look through my book because I've spent so much time on it. I was like, they're not even gonna like just look through it all and like look at everything. And that was like, okay, well then, that's not practice for Leeds because I think Leeds do do that. So, I don't know. Uh, I'll tell you obviously after how it goes. I'm just waiting for eight o'clock when breakfast starts. I think we'll leave here at half eight even though my interview's at half nine and the uni is down the road. Well, it's a 15 minute drive. So we just want to get there and make sure we're not in the wrong place or anything, so. I don't actually know if this outfit would look better with black jeans. Because I was black, this black, this outfit with black jeans the other day and it looked kind of sick. <laughs> So I'm just wearing my cow jacket from Urban Outfitters 
this top from Zara that you've seen as well. It says, let every moment inspire you. My cargo pants from Urban Outfitters and my white chunky shoes from Primark. I'm not sure if it would just look better with black jeans. There's no full length mirror. Oh, my I feel like this looks cooler in the sense that like the cargo pants are cool. But I don't know if black jeans actually looks like better. Do you know what I mean? Like matches more. I think it does. And then this is like, mm, yeah, okay. We'll wear this. Let's see if my dad has a full length mirror. <laughs> So I've just come out of my interview, it was calm, it was alright, I mean it was completely fine, it was literally so calm, it was literally like a chat, and it was annoying because he only looked at like literally two of my pieces, but that doesn't matter, whatever, it doesn't, I'm not fussed, and he looked at my film, but he was really excited about it all, he was like, oh you're gonna love it here, I'm so excited to work with you, um, he was just getting really excited about everything I was doing, so, so I'm all back home. Now after another like six hour journey home, we didn't actually stop in the end, we just drove all the way home. We, we um, I don't know if anyone was listening to this, this heart radio competition. <laughs> Me and my dad, obviously we were in the car for like 14 hours. So it became a bit of a thing. Obviously we were just listening out for Adele laughing. And then I remember we were driving home, three songs of Adele played, basically a free paid in a row, you had a chance to win 30 grand. So we had to text, we didn't win. <laughs> Otherwise I'd probably be making a more fun video than this. But yeah, so we just drove home. My interview, yeah, it was really good actually. They just, um, I can't remember what I explained earlier. They just kind of said like, oh, your bike seems to be quite like political. They don't mean like actual politics. They just mean like, um, like not like Donald Trump, Theresa May stuff. Just like addressing world issues and stuff. And I was like, yeah, yeah, a lot of people say that. And they just seemed like really keen about that. They were like, that's a lot what a lot of our first year work is based on, what we're really trying to get our students to be like. And um, that was kind of it. And then we were just kind of talking about like where I could go further with my work if I went there, like using 3D printers and stuff. So yeah, it was really good. I didn't really get interviewed. Um, I didn't really get asked any questions, actually. I didn't get asked a question. I got asked what my favorite piece was to start it off with. And then he asked me what I'd change about my favorite piece. And that was all. And then we just I just showed him um, the other set of work, like another set of photos, which is annoying because he's seen like two photos out of like 20, but it doesn't really matter. He seemed quite keen. I don't really want to go there. So I'm not too fussed if I get an offer or not. Honestly, it was experience ready for Leeds on Monday. But now I feel like I didn't really gain too much experience because I didn't really get interviewed. But one girl had her Bournemouth interview and she said it was kind of the same thing. So I'm hoping it's just as chill and I'll get to show them some more work, which is all I really care about. I just wanted to show them the shoots I did with Handsome Freaks. I don't know if any of you follow my um, photography page. Uh, I really love them, so. Hopefully you'll get your show leads there. And yeah, I'm about to edit this now. Hopefully it hasn't been an extremely boring vlog. I'm not surprised if it has, but I thought it would just be a fun memory to have for my first ever uni interview. I'm sorry I didn't again show you any of the, the car journey or our hotel, I kind of forgot, um, or any of the uni. I just didn't want to get my camera out in the uni. Obviously we were there for an interview, so I didn't want to like start vlogging, that would be weird. <laughs> I'm probably not allowed, so yeah. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, thanks, let me know. I think I'm gonna vlog Leeds as well. If it turns out okay, all these mo both might be together. So this outro might be pointless. So yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.